What is going on YouTube Baseball Cards 6251 coming at you with another video. This is going to be a um, video response for Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. He's having a 1500 subscriber contest and um, he wants to uh, see uh, your card area or your house or you know something along the lines of that. So I'm going to show off my room um, which is pretty much my card area. Um, and um, yeah, so I figured since I haven't been very active lately, um, mostly because I haven't been getting much in, um, like I said in a couple of my other videos, the winter is my uh, slow, it's the slow time of the hobby for me, um, just because there's simply no IP graphing um, for me, you know, baseball season's not in, um, soccer season isn't here yet, so yeah, and um I've just been keeping myself busy with other stuff. Got lots of stuff going on with school and um college and all that all that crap. <laughs> um so anyway, get into it. Um right here I got my desk. Um this is where I do all my videos. Um most of them at least. Got laptop. Um just a bunch of random stuff on here. I got to put away a lot of it. Um, some old postcards from the early 1900s, and some other stuff. Uh, got these at a flea market a long, long time ago. Have yet to put them away. Um, they're doing any, anything with them, really. Um, so, anyway, a lot of this stuff I just gotta put away, organize, and, yeah. So, got some TTM stuff, um, sign stuff. Uh, I don't even know. Um, 101 Allen and Ginter original, uh, that I actually pulled, which that was surprising. <laughs> usually I never, uh, do, uh, any, usually I don't get anything when I open packs. <laughs> um, above, just got a whole mess of stuff up top. Um, bunch of baseballs that are unsigned. Um, some cool, uh. Our cool Greg Maddox ball. Got these, got two of them for a dollar at a uh, card show a long time, or a few months ago, so that's cool. Um, up top, built some shelves, put got a lot of bobbleheads, some other balls, and uh, yeah. Um, actually in here, keep all my supplies in there, and in a box underneath, that's the supply box right there. Basically in this box. Got a bunch of uh, just random stuff. Most of this is what I'm trying to get rid of. Um, so, um, some stuff. This is basically what I bring to uh, my LCS on Saturdays when all of us uh, get together and, you know, just chill with and uh hang out talk about the hobby what's new um you know share experiences stories what and uh whatever so that's what i do on saturdays um a lot of the time when i have nothing else better to do go to the lcs hang out with the guys and just talk about the hobby um really fun stuff so actually in the shoe box behind is where i keep all my all my uh, tickets from concerts, from sports games, etc. Um, and there's even some other promo stuff in there that you get from uh, stadiums. Um, I've always just kept a lot of the stuff, so got a shoebox full of that stuff. Um, let's see what else. And then also another part of the uh, response, he wanted to know. Um, what a uh, uh, what a couple of your New Year's resolutions are. Um, so one of them is to continue working on my set. Let's see if that'll stay. Um, Twenty fourteen tops MLS. Uh, trying to get the set signed. As of now, I got eighty nine out of one hundred and ninety, which is pretty damn good. Um, for me at least so usually I only well 
most of the time I go to uh, probably about half the games, probably more than that actually. But uh, this year, my dad and I bought season tickets for the Union, so hopefully, uh, that hopefully um, I'll be able to work more towards that. And uh, yeah, um, just some postcards and some other stuff that was from TTMs that I ran out of space uh, storing it for. Let's see. Up here I got a bunch of... Um, this is kind of how I store my uh, signed index cards. Got IP. So all these were in person. Signatures. On the back is where I write, uh, you know, who signed it and whatnot. So, there's that. The Olympic TTMs. There's two of them, actually. Or actually, is there two? Somewhere. I thought there was a second one, but... Um, there's another one somewhere, so... Basically, all these... The rest here are TTMs. So, these are Olympics. Um, I know I've got a bunch of... Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos from a while ago... You know, I've been sending out a bunch of these TTM uh, cards, getting them signed, and uh, so that's cool. Um, and then baseball, um, a little note there, that's cool. Some other index cards, and then just another baseball one. Um, and these are extra index cards from TTMs that I just ran out of space for, so... Um, yeah, moving on. Um, I already showed up there. Moving over here, got another one. Another shelf. It's kind of empty right now. Um, I've been, there was something on there that I had to take down. And um, I got to fill it back up now. <laughs> so, moving across the room. All my signed baseballs. Definitely one of my uh, favorite. Um parts of my room overlooking the uh, window there um, and then the rest of my room here is just a big mess right now um, being that it was just Christmas I kinda just have stuff laying around and um, that's I guess I guess another resolution is to uh, clean everything. <laughs> um, usually, I'm usually, uh, like, really organized, but lately, not so much. Um, just a bunch of, this, this box is, is my, uh, main box for my PC. Um, got some Hall of Famers, um, I don't know, vintage, some more vintage, um, Phillies, and then there's stacks, stacks, and more stacks that have yet to be organized. Um, <laughs> some other random stuff. Um, just actually completed this sticker set from, what is it, 2016 Tops, I think. They were inserts or some of some sort, and there's six of them for the Wacky Pack promos. Um, so... Some other cool stuff, Hall of Fame, um, and whatnot. Uh, make some room here. This is how I uh, organize my um, soccer cards. Um, basically, I do this only for soccer just because that's the main sport I graph. Um, Basically, I just have all these cards alphabetized, and so all I have to do is, when a team comes into Philly and I'm going to the game, I just got to, uh, you know, look online, look at the roster, and just go through and pull out the names that are on the team that are going to be there. So, it makes it really, really simple, um, very easy to uh, find. Um, you know, a player you need. Um, trying to see what else. 
binders, binders, more binders, stack of magazines that, <laughs> again, very unorganized. Pe there's pennants over there, some old pennants, some cool looking stuff. Other than uh, sports, or actually, here, other than sports is what I was going to say, um, been collecting a lot of, uh, getting into a lot of vinyl. So, just yesterday, actually, I didn't. Alright, I guess that's not coming out. Um, just yesterday, going through my, uh, where I was at my grandma's house, found a box of, uh, found a bunch of, um, actually multiple boxes of vinyl records in her basement. Pulled out some, uh, ones that I thought were cool. So, um, so kind of just flipping through here. Kiss, Beatles, a bunch of, uh, 45s here. There's a bunch of Beatles in here. Um, so, that's cool. Uh, I know I've been, uh, in the past, I've been making videos every time I get a new vinyl. Um, I kind of just show it off. So, continuing with that, uh, little streak, I guess, uh, you can call it. Got two of them for Christmas. And actually, the third one's, um, I pre-ordered the third one. So, first one I'll go with is, uh, Bishop Briggs. Um, uh, if you haven't listened to her, I definitely suggest, um, at least looking at her, uh, stuff. Really, really good, I think. Um, I know I've spoke about her before. I've seen her live, um, two times. Met her once, and super nice, super talented, uh, singer. And she hasn't released an album yet, but this is actually a Record Store Day, uh, issued vinyl, so... Um, ended up getting that. And then this picture glows in the dark as well as the, uh, back. So that's cool. And then, um, 21 Pilots. Um, this is their live version of, uh, their Blurry Face album. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you know I'm a huge 21 Pilots fan. And, um, so I had to get this, of course. <laughs> so, if you can hear that, if you heard that, it's really cool. I've never seen it like, or an album, or a uh, vinyl like this, where it's like a, one of those, it's like a birthday card where you open it and it's got like a voice recording or whatever, and it speaks or sings a song. It's got one of those on um, on the uh, on the uh, vinyl cover sleeve thing. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, so there's it's, it's three discs. Um, so that's really sick. So and then my third one that I pre-ordered for uh, Christmas, um, or I guess I'm gonna get it for my birthday now, but <laughs> um, is Hot Fuss by The Killers. As you can see, I got Killers right there already. This is Sam's Town. Um, third. Basically, this, this vinyl that I'm getting, it's limited edition, and I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what else to say about it. It's just one of my favorite all-time albums in general. So, The Killers, one of my favorite bands. Back to, a. Uh, Sports, I guess. Got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, this is basically my set uh, notebook. You know, if I'm completing a set, I'll write down what I need. Cross it off as I get it. And, um... So, yeah, there's that. Um... Trying to think what else. Um... For... Some other stuff I've been collecting... I know I'm kind of just getting into more just random stuff. I'm not really speaking specific, you know, towards the, uh, I guess, if there's, I don't know, getting off track of the main idea of the video, but I'm going to continue. Um, some more stuff I'm working towards on uh, collecting non-sports cards, um, whether it's 
vintage. Um, vintage advertising is really cool, which I'm starting to get into. And uh, collect, so there's some of this stuff. Coca-Cola sign there, or Coca-Cola um, little bird card thing. I'm not sure. This is really sick from like the late 1800s, early 1900s. But that was really cool. Some Indian uh, Gaudi uh, cards. And then um, some tobacco cards, which, again, if you've been watching my videos um, from the past couple of months, you can, or you know that I've been really getting into this uh, type of stuff. And um, the White House series uh, is a set that I'm actually going to try and complete. I know I'm very far away from uh, actually completing it, but, you know, got to start somewhere, so... These, I just, the artwork on these cards are just amazing, and that's kind of what drew, uh, you know, drew, uh, drew me into uh, wanting to do that set. Again, with, uh, like, these type of uh, non-sports vintage cards, the artwork on these are just amazing, so that's kind of why I've been collecting those. Um, let's see, what else? Another set. Um, this one I'm actually completing for a uh, buddy who passed away. Um, he started it, and um, so basically I'm trying to complete it for him. Um, as you can see here, there's not many left. I think there's only about 27, or yeah, I guess 27 there, um, left that I need to uh, get signed. It's the 2011, I believe, Upper Decks uh, MLS card set. So he got the majority of these, my friend, and um, I'm going to complete it for him. So that's what I've been working on um, for the past, I don't know, a little over a year maybe. Um, yeah, so there's that. That's cool. Um, hmm, let's see what else where am I at. I've got, I don't even know, I have a little card, a little note card I wrote on, um, some other stuff that I want to get done for, uh, 2017, um, one, uh, of course, you know, work more towards these sets that I've been trying to work on, um, com you know, continue collecting those, uh, vintage, non-sports cards, tobacco cards, whatever, uh, whatever you want to call them, and, um, let's see if my camera will stay here, put it there, um, there's a couple different things, um, non, uh, related to, uh, I guess, the hobby, that I kind of have re resolutions for. Ah, cannot speak. Um, well, one, I got a. I'm I'm really big with uh, photography. That's another one of my hobbies. Um, I got a new, brand new camera for Christmas. So, really uh, looking towards, uh, you know, getting out there. Um, another one of my passions is, you know, hiking and camping and. I'm an outdoors type of person. I'm an Eagle Scout, so um, that kind of photography um, also kind of goes into, you know, my other hobbies and kind of connects everything together. Um, I don't know. There's there's a lot of other stuff. Um, I've been trying to uh, self-teach myself to uh, play the piano. Um, there's a bunch of movies and TV series uh, that I want to start watching, um, right now I'm completing Curb Your Enthusiasm, uh, Larry David, funny, funny, uh, guy, definitely, um, it's an older TV show, um, and I think they're actually making a new season for 2017, so, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, great series, um, recently, actually, I think there's a Breaking Bad uh, on TV, they're 
playing all the Breaking Bad marathon, um, or all the episodes as a marathon, so that's cool. Um, that was a great series as well. Um, there's a list of books that I have that I want to read, um, <clears throat> such as uh, Shaken, Tim Tebow. Ended up picking this up at Barnes and Nobles. It's signed copy, so that's cool. That's really cool. So that's on my list of uh, books to read. Um, <laughs> so much stuff and not enough time. Um, yeah, so this video is extremely long. I apologize for that. But anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. Definitely, you know, get in on his 1,500 subscriber contest. Um, hope everyone had a great holiday. Hope everyone's um, looking forward to the uh, new year. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I know, uh, again, got off topic, got, you know, kind of just my mind went going and just kept talking. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and talk to you later.